Hello, happy travelers. Welcome back to my flight attendant channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I am Kelly and I'm a flight attendant. Aha. I am back at the airport, ready to go to work. Today I'm headed to St. Louis. It is one flight there and one flight back tomorrow. Yes, those are the best trips. And our flights are not full. So gonna have it easy the next couple of days. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. I don't wanna jinx it. On paper, it's looking good. We'll see how it actually goes. Now I have got to go catch my bus and head to the terminal. I'm so glad the weather's getting a little bit nicer. It's supposed to be about 80 in St. Louis tomorrow and I have a, a decent layover, so I might get out. There's supposed to be scattered thunderstorms though, which you never want to hear that when you're flying, so. Head to the international terminal. Makes me feel like I'm going somewhere cool. Although I guess St. Louis is cool. Be nice to get some barbecue there, I think. Okay, so our plane is here, but it came in from an international destination, which means it has to clear customs and they have to search it and do all the security stuff. So that often takes a little bit longer than normal. So I'm just sat here in a corner, enjoying the view. I'm gonna chill out until it's time to get on. And voila, just like that. We are in St. Louis. We have to go catch our bus to our hotel. It's like an 18 hour layover, so we are in downtown St. Louis. So when there's no airport shuttle, the airline uh, arranges our transportation and everything. So we don't have to worry about it, which is nice. So let's go. Fancy car today. Small one. Shot dead. Oh, wow, it looks very nice. <sighs> okay, we are in our room, and by we, I mean me. <laughs> and you know what we have to do when we get into a room. A murderer check. All right. So we got some curtains over her. Some people have been concerned about me not checking under the beds, but normally in these types of rooms, under the bed is solid. So I don't really have to worry about that. Bathroom. Okay. Oh, this is a tiny bathroom. No murders. No place to hide. And closet. Oh, there's a robe. So no murders. This is a very small room. And unfortunately, there was the same brand of hotel right by the Arch in downtown St. Louis, which is where I thought we were staying. But we are at a different branch of that same brand. And I guess we're about 10 miles away from the arch, which sucks because I was planning on just walking there tomorrow. But I guess I could always Uber there. It's almost 12.30 in the morning now, so I will figure that out tomorrow. I am very hungry. So I'm gonna prepare some of my food. All right, so I am all showered. And yes, I'm wearing the robe. I'm being bougie, she said, while her frozen meal is heating up in her tiny crock pot. But you know, when there's a robe, you have to do it, right? But I just wanted to show you guys, I showered. I have not obviously washed my face yet. This wasn't a very long day, so not like the best example, but the lipstick still looks so good. It's Maybelline, I love it. I have a bunch of colors. Uh, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Look, red lipstick does not come off at all. Unless you eat something greasy, then it comes off. But that means I have to use makeup remover to take it off. So I may look like this now, but give me a sec. This is me now. <laughs> I look like the Joker. 
This is why I take off my lipstick before I wash my face because I have to wash this off now. But this is freaking ridiculous. Why so serious? <laughs> Good morning. So I slept pretty well. This bed was really comfortable. That's always a nice thing when you get a nice comfy bed on a layover. I slept uh, probably later than I should, which seems to be my uh, habit when it comes to layovers, especially mostly when we get in really late because I'm really wired and have to stay out for a couple hours. Anyway, so I've been researching this area a little bit and there's nothing. <laughs> I so thought we were going to be staying right in the middle of downtown St. Louis within walking distance of everything, but we are not. And it's like a $50 Uber to go to the Arch, like one way. I'm not paying $50 to go over there. And there's like not that many restaurants around here. It's like totally not the uh, layover I had in mind. So I think I am just going to stay here. Uh, it kind of is a bummer because I was hoping to get out and see some new things and have some yummy barbecue, but that is not going to happen today. I think I'm going to have some coffee because they have Illy coffee here, which is amazing. And then go and get in a workout before we fly home. So not exactly the exciting layover I was planning for you guys, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. I just went and did a quick and fast workout and now I am dying. Uh, I didn't have much time. Now I've got to take a shower and get ready for pickup. And then we just have one flight to LA. So yay, get to go home for tonight and then I'm back out tomorrow. <laughs> it's worth it because in a few days we're going to Thailand for two weeks. So got to bust out all this work now. All right, I am all packed up and ready to go down for pickup. Even relaxing layovers have to end, unfortunately. I'm going for a vampy look today. Yeah. Someone was knocking on my door. I guess they're ready for me to leave. They're like, get the heck out of here. So back to the airport and then back home to LA we go where I am home for less than 12 hours before I leave again. As of right now, unless my trip trades, I'm going to Miami and I have a long layover. So that should be fun. I'm hiding in the corner until the agent comes to let us on the plane. I don't know where they are. They should be here by now. So I guess I'm just hanging out. Also, a pilot bought me coffee, which is nice. And then yesterday on my trip, a passenger gave us all $10 Starbucks gift cards. So I've gotten two free Starbucks in the last two days, which is amazing. So I had to warn him though. I was like, are you sure? Cause my coffee's like eight bucks. And he was like, yeah, they can afford it. <laughs> so here I am. Made it on the plane. I did not get a chance to tell you this yesterday, but for you aviation geeks out here, we are flying on an Airbus 319, which is a smaller plane, still three and three on either side, but um, only 120 seats in the back. We like to call this the baby bus or the short bus. <laughs> it's a good plane to work just because there's only 120 people in the back, not, not too shabby. So, and we're not full. However, there are still people in the last row, which if you ever get on a flight and the last row is completely empty, the flight attendants love to sit back there. Just keep that in mind if, before you go and sit there without asking, because a lot of times the flight attendants find it a lot more comfortable than their jump seats. The jump seats are terrible, but now I have to move all my stuff because I thought we had it open, but it's not open, so. Good news, the agents moved the people out of the last row. So. <laughs> it's so nice. So we still have to take our jump seat for a uh, taxi takeoff and landing. And we still have to obviously work back in the galley, but um, in between the times that we have to do our duties, it's just a lot more comfortable to sit in the back row. And just like that, <laughs> I've made it back to LA just like that. I wish it was that easy. So I have to leave again for the airport in 12 hours. Yeah, I'm kind of tired, but you know, what are you going to do? I'm back in my car and I made it here in record time because I'm ready to go home. I only have about 11 hours <laughs> to spend at home. So enough time to shower and sleep basically short layover at home. 
until I'm back out tomorrow going to Miami. Today was day four of six, then I have one day off, and then I have another two days. So I am getting tired, but it got a got a rally, got to power through. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I know that layover did not end up being what we hoped it would be, but maybe next time, maybe the Miami one will be better. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe because I have all the flight attendant adventures coming up. For now, this is Kelly from the Awkward Flight Attendant. Peace out. Do you do this? <laughs> oh no. I do not know how to make coffee apparently. Where did it go? It's gone. Oh my god. This is not going well. <laughs> I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Thanks.